All right, Sharon Ray, thanks a lot. We will look forward to that as always. So, pranksters damaged the local school's football field. It's the same field that the school uses not only for the games, but practice as well. You know what the coach told his team about what happened and also told us, the troubleshooters? Listen to this. Quote, this is life. We can't talk bad about it or anything. It's all on how we handle it and how we overcome things. Here's what happened. Now, your Action 10 News Troubleshooters Report. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20. He's going to go all the way. Yep, it's the home of the two-time state TAIAO state champion Arlington Heights Lions. Six-man football in the Texas Association of Independent Athletic Organizations. They won their first game of the season, by the way. But sometime after that game, when the field was muddy from the rain. It's prime mud riding weather, so <laughs> this is just to, to deter them from driving out onto the field again. Somebody decided to drive a vehicle onto the field, creating these tracks. Uh, I don't want somebody to feel like what they did was, you know, terrible. It's just uh, something that we just had to adapt and overcome. Bobby Latka is Arlington Heights varsity coach. He played for Phil Danaher at Cal Allen. Once word got out about what happened, Noasis Power Equipment donated these metal posts to be a deterrent to future field damage. And Precinct 1 Noasis County Commissioner Robert Hernandez made it possible for this wooden fence to be installed as another deterrent. The field is owned by Noasis County, and they give the school permission to use it as long as they maintain it. The tracks are still there, but no way that's going to stop the lion. I told the boys it's not something that we can have control over, so we just got to pray for the individuals that have done it and just get ready for our game on Saturday. Is that remarkable? Remarkable comment there from Coach Latka. And by the way, I spoke with him about an hour ago. He says they lost their last game. However, the county is still repairing the field, and they got another game coming up this Friday. As always, if you have a story you want the troubleshooters to check out, all you have to do is send us an email at troubleshooters at kztv10.com.